There we go. Now we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, fucking windows. Every time there's a fucking windows update, it always fucks with my mic settings. So, anyways, let me redo my introduction again. Welcome to the stream. Playing Donkey Kong 94, which is a game on the Game Boy, which is often overlooked. Uh... It's a fun game, by the way, which is why I'm playing it. Uh, also, Mr. Drew, congrats on uh, 100 subs. So, there we go. Got that out of the way. But fucking Windows. So, what is Donkey Kong 94? Well, if you've seen uh, a little bit of the intros... It is in the style of... Ah! Okay, that was a practice. These are practice runs. There we go. Um, this is a... what the, It's considered a... Platformer puzzle game. So, it's essentially Donkey Kong uh, Arcade, but it's actually what started, um, like, the Mario vs. Donkey Kong style of games. So, it, it definitely plays a little different from classic Donkey Kong that everybody may be used to. Uh... Uh, as you keep going in the game, it does get a lot challenging, so. Yeah, fucking Windows, man. Every time there's a fucking update, it always messes my mic settings. And then I always forget. Oh! Damn, I overjumped it. So, yeah. Uh, Donkey Kong today. I figure a nice little chill game is right up my alley. Ah! See, I'm trying to get a little bit too cute with these moves. 
Ah! Shit. See, I'm dying this much because I'm trying to get the bonus points. So... Ah! Yeah, I'm struggling quite a bit. Okay, here we go. What the? Fuck! Hell, <laughs> you want the uh, Zelda dungeon game I played? Sorry about that. I, uh, I'm not using. I don't like using the D-pad. It's funny with retro games. I get so used to not using the D-pad. So I accidentally clicked down on the D on the analog stick, and that restarted my emulator. All right, let's uh, let's try this again. Fuck. My cousin, where he uh, where he got the uh, the game? I'll have to uh, so I can uh, send you the link of where he got it. Yeah, that uh, Zelda Ancient Dungeon is a uh, is the. Oof. Yeah, it's the, uh, uh, yeah, that's a ROM hack of, uh, uh, that randomizes the Zelda dungeon, uh, layout. I got close to the Kong. I try to get I try to get cute by uh, getting the uh, extra extra life. Yeah, let, uh, I'll I'll have uh, I'll ask my cousin. I'll ask my cousin so that way I can get it, so I can get you that, uh, ROM hack. Now the fun begins.
see. You always want to pay attention to the uh, the little cutscenes in this game because it gives you a clue as to what's coming up. I should get. Not bad. I got us. You always get a bunch of extra men. So then now we go to these stages where we uh, we just got to do some uh, some platforming and puzzle solving. Get him. can hold on to the hammer then that's always a bonus oh wait I didn't get this there we go This was the first time Mario was in a game, right? No, not this game in particular. You're thinking of Donkey Kong Arcade. This is Donkey Kong 1994. So this is... The first couple levels look similar to the original Donkey Kong, but this is a completely different game from the arcade version that everybody knows and loves. But no, this game uh, uh, this game was not the first time Mario was in a game. It's uh it was the original Donkey Kong arcade. This is a, at the time, this was a different, this was like a modern take on, shit, I did it again, hold on, uh, let me change controllers, cause, I need to change, whoa, whoa, no, 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 damn it, so the problem I'm having is I'm using the analog stick, and I don't want to do that. So I am going to go over to my 8 Bidu controller and use that one. Okay, let's do that again. Shit. I need to I need to get uh, out of uh, using the analog stick. Damn it. Second time that's happened already. Wait, let's not start. Uh oh. Am I having uh, hardware issues? Oh no. Fun facts for the evening. Yeah, this uh, this particular Donkey Kong game is uh, different. Oh, uh, shoot. Ah, crap. Am I having technical issues here? What's going on? All right, well... What? 
is going on here? Oh shit. Hold on. Oh boy. Some of the uh, growing paints I'm still working out with this uh, emulator. So give me a sec while I. I don't know what's going on. Well, I'm off to a great start tonight. There we go. Hope that worked. There we go. Got it running. There we go. Holy crap. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, good. At least it saved my... Alright, let's do that again. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a save state right there. I'm going to do a regular save after each... Uh, uh, each uh, mandatory save, and then I'm going to do a save state so that way I don't screw up. up like that so that was a shocker all right cool all right now I can now I can start playing <laughs> The music is pretty catchy. Oh, the music is fantastic. Like, you play this and you're going to be hooked on it. If you like puzzle games. Ah, oh, crap. And it's funny how I found out about this game because it was my cousin, Sonic Boom, that showed it to me. He goes, here, play this, without telling me wh whatsoever. Because when I saw it, um, I naturally thought, oh, well, this is just a Game Boy report of... Uh, I thought, oh, this is just a Game Boy port of the... Uh, of the Donkey Kong arcade game and yeah it starts off like that as you saw but boy was I wrong so yeah he shows me the game and I'm thinking oh I don't want to play uh, original Donkey Kong on the Game Boy and then he goes, no, 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 beat these first four levels, and then you'll see what, the, then you'll see why it's, 
and then, um, I play it. Ah, oh, yeah, extra lives. And, uh, I started playing it, and I was like, wait, there's a lot more to this game than just that? And boy, was I so glad to be proven wrong. But overall, definitely a fun, this is definitely, definitely, definitely a fun game. You don't want to linger too long in the wires, because then you can get, uh, shocked. Now, why am I going back down here? Because I just saw where the hammer is. Ah, crap, okay. That was my fault. I should have just continued. I want to rack up as many lives as I can. Whee! Back down. Once I start getting into the flow of things, it's going to go a lot better. Hopefully you're all having a great day as well. <laughs> Get the three. So, uh, each stage has multiple fights with Donkey. Want to be careful not to let these things... So the first, uh, this first go around, it's not too bad. And the way you save in this game is it's after every boss fight. After you complete a boss fight, then you uh, you can save. Hey, whoa, what version of DK is this? This is Donkey Kong 1994. It's the uh, Game Boy... This is the Game Boy uh, modernized version of Donkey Kong Arcade. It's a, it's a platforming puzzler. And I'm not surprised by your reaction to it because not a lot of people know about this game. They just look at the name Donkey Kong and they think it's just a Game Boy port of the arcade. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a... At the time, it was a modern spin on Donkey Kong Arcade. So, you pretty much have to, uh... So, yeah. Oh! This game definitely will test your, uh, your puzzle-solving abilities. And this one is, uh, this particular version I'm playing is the Game Boy Color, uh, enhanced version, which is why you have the little, uh, arcade, uh, marquee. 
And that was uh, something that was done when you would play it on the Super Game Boy. Okay, two lives. I'll take it. I'll take it. This game, I love playing this game. I haven't beaten it, which is kind of a surprising uh, deal, but like I said, when my cousin showed this to me many, many years ago, I just automatically dismissed the game as... I just automatically... Can I save myself? Damn it! When I saw DK64, I was thinking an SNES game. Oh no. No, this one is called Donkey Kong 60 uh, Donkey Kong 94 because of the the year it was released on the Game Boy. But that is the unofficial name. Officially, it's just called Donkey Kong. But you can see where there's a lot of confusion where it's called Donkey Kong and a lot of people will assume it's just a Game Boy... Uh, it's just a Game Boy port of the classic arcade game. That's what I should have done in the very beginning. Oh god, I survived that. Yeah, and, and obviously like any puzzle game, it's gonna get harder and harder as you go along, so. At least it's funny when uh, you get these bonus games when you collect all of the the little uh, items in the game, like the purses, the umbrella, you know, the hat. So when you collect all three of them, you you get access to the. Don't worry, folks. I didn't die there. Damn it, I fell. You can bet, at some point, this game will be released on the Game Boy Online on the Switch. To you, I'm, I'm surprised this was not one of the games that was actually released when the Game Boy Online came out. Which I think, um, 
If they would have released it, a lot of a lot more folks would definitely would have known about it. Boss fight number two. Fun is, the fun part about this is, ah, uh, oh, son of a bitch, you got me. The, the the best part about this game is trying to figure out the strategy of how to beat it. You know, like once you kind of you kind of get an idea of like, oh, shit. Getting a little too cute here. You have to do it. Should get one, two, three, four. I'm gonna get five extra lives here. The the lives in this game, you can, you're gonna get a boatload of them. So, like I said, little cutscenes give you an idea of what type of puzzle, what type of stuff is coming up next to help you solve the puzzles. Before you had the little uh, arrow um, item where you can do the platform. Now we have this little lever that... Oh, so this one has three now. So, yeah. Um... They don't get any easier, they just get harder. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, if you've never played this game before, I highly recommend it. All right, two extra men. Nice. Such a fun game. So, I like I said, this game is very, very... Uh, It's not well known. Like, if I can get, if I can just, ah, son of a bitch, I didn't see that guy coming. If I can somehow manage to get more people to play this, or at least know about it, I would be so happy.
All right. I hope this works. quick because uh, the key does disappear if you don't if you go on too long without it oh, shit that was close so yeah the game does does get progressively uh, trickier Plenty of lives, and believe me, I'm gonna need them. That was close. Oh, wait, did I get everything? I did. Let's go. Four lives there. See, now we got a little... Nintendo should do this with more of their classic games. Yeah, they really should. This is a this is a hidden gem. up the lives I tell you this was a this was a very now like if you're familiar with the Mario versus Donkey Kong games If you're familiar with the Mario vs. Donkey Kong games, those came out of these of this game pretty much. Shh. Son of a bitch got beat. I got eaten. I got it. <laughs> ice climbers in these styles would be fun. I like ice climbers, but I do hate the control.
I think I got them all. Ice Climbers, I, I'm surprised Ice Climbers has never gotten like a, some sort of a remake type thing. You know, Ice Climbers is, I'm surprised it's like one of those games that has never gotten a, a bit of a facelift. underwater level yep it wouldn't be a nintendo game without him I ain't got huh, I ain't got time to uh to collect the uh, the extra lives double oh seven. Damn, that was tricky because of those ladybugs. I needed those out of the way. Okay, the ladybugs shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, crap. I need a ladybug. Ladybug. Ha <laughs> 
Hey, Nataku, welcome. Okay, I need to have one ladybug. Okay, I need to have one ladybug stay in front, and I need the other one to go outward, to go another direction. That's gonna have to do shit. Oh, sh shoot, those bugs are gonna make it tough for me to get past there. Okay, I know what I have to do, but it's kind of tough to to get them to get the ladybugs to do what I want them to do. I don't know if that's going to work. Okay, okay. Uh, I could have this. I just need to follow that uh, ladybug. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh... Thank you. 
That was so unnecessary, but I wanted that. It, I wanted that. Greedy. Fuck. I got greedy. But that's what I like about this. There we go. I don't need that damn, uh... Okay, I think I got it. Oh, he's facing the wrong way. God damn it. Actually, no, not, not exactly a bad thing. Okay, this is not a bad thing. <sighs> Why did I do that? See, I'm getting, I'm getting cocky. Fucking boomer debt. I don't care at this point. Fuck it. I say I don't care, but I go and, and I stupidly go and get these damn things. Damn it! I should just go for the finish line. should have just gone for the finish line instead of trying to fuck around with the bonus stuff. See, I, I'm getting way too cocky. Oh, I 
Okay, cool. I got got them there. So I just want to get these suckers in. He still got through the... Fucked up. Those fucking spiders are what's causing all the trouble here. I need a fresh start, because god damn it. Now you're thinking, how could you make a mistake like that? Well, it's simple. The game punishes you for fucking up. I could have been done with this a long time ago, but no, I had to get greedy. Oh, I'm an idiot. There we go. Finally! Finally, I beat this fucking level. My god, what a pain in the ass. Ooh, that was close. 
That was fucking close. Whatever happened to Pauline? Uh, she's- this is Pauline right here. She's in this- she's right here in this game. And then later on she would come out in uh, Super Mario Odyssey to sing the song. I get it? Yeah, I did it. Holy shit. Okay, I got one up. Perfect. I panicked. I panicked. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there are 100 levels in this. Okay, there we go. Holy shit. Hopefully this, uh, hopefully, uh, some of you have, that haven't played this will, uh, pick it up and, uh, give it a shot. Oh shit. I did not see them spikes. But I had the right idea.
cool. I don't know how I pulled that off. <laughs> don't know how I pulled it off, but I did. I'm all out of drink. I should probably get me some, some liquor. Alright, go ahead, extra life. Like I said, if you're able to pull it off, you can get a lot of extra lives here. I guess the best way I could describe the uh, boss fights is is the f the first couple of fights the first couple of fights are not really boss fights they're more like he's just it's like an obstacle course and then 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 the final time you meet him in a in a lab in a stage that is the actual boss fight Check this out. New strategy. Ha! Huh, your chat stays li <laughs> your chat your retracted uh, message lives on in the uh, in the iPod in the iPod uh, chat box. <laughs> I've been going for an hour. Holy crap. Does not feel like I've been going for an hour. Watching you and Severe Alchem at the same time. <laughs> nice. Tell him I said hi. And that uh, my apologies for not being able to go to his streams because sometimes I just can't. I'm like. Like, as much as I, you know, I try to. make it to I, I, I try to make it to everybody's streams if I can but sometimes that's just not possible you know with work also like yesterday I didn't stream because I was tired Yesterday I was supposed to stream, but I kind of moved it over to today because I was just too damn tired.
Messed up. Yeah, I kind of... I could have played Batman today, but I was a little more in the mood for something a little more chill out and relaxing. Same way I try to support everybody gets hard. Yeah. <gasps> I know what I have to do. I figured it out. Haha! I figured it. I figured it out. See, I was putting those um, steps in the wrong. I was put placing them in the wrong spot. Shit. Okay, let's go. I, I, um, okay, so get this. I was putting the. I was putting it in the wrong spot, because where it really should go. Is there. That's what I needed to do. I needed to put that ladder, step ladder to let that other block move. Ooh. And there we go. There we go. Once I see, sometimes I overthink. Uh. Oh, shit. Let's see, and uh, tomorrow I I will play um, tomorrow I am planning on playing uh, Batman. The GoldenEye remaster? Uh, what do you mean by remaster? Uh, uh, are you talking about the ones that came out on the Switch Online and the Xbox Game Pass? Because those aren't technically remasters, they're just ports. Uh, and the one on the Wii is a remake. But... Which Batman? Uh, Arkham Asylum. I need to finish those games. Yeah, 
if you're talking about the Nintendo Switch Online GoldenEye, uh, yeah, I played that. Uh, but that is definitely, that is not a remaster, it's just a port. Well, it's just the emulator. Uh, it's the actual... I would, you, what sucks though? Shit. What sucks though? Is I can't I can't play the uh, All, uh, all GoldenEye is, it's, um, I guess you could say that, um... The, uh, the Xbox version, I guess you could say, is a little more remastered. Uh, but the Game Boy, uh, the Game Boy, the Nintendo Switch one is, is, is just a straight up port. Uh, not even a port, it's, uh, the actual ROM. Switch online version is, is is the ROM that's being emulated, so there's no changes to that. Other than it does look a little more, uh, it does look cleaner, but um, the Xbox Game Pass one I think is the one that I would consider more of a of a remaster. Missed it by one. Um, but I can't get that one because in order to get it, you have to either have Game Pass or uh, a digital version of Rare Replay. I have the physical edition. Kind of sucks that I can't get get the game. The Switch version I played last week. I actually just bre I, I, I breezed through it during uh, one of my retro game nights. I will, I, I, sometimes I wonder if I should shell out the money for the digital rare replay, but if I do, I'll... But if I do, I'll wait till it's on sale. But it sucks that... It sucks that because of... 
it sucks that I can't ha I, I can't get the game unless it's a digital release the digital release of the rare replay. Okay, there we go. I thought for some reason I couldn't be able to Although, I will say that it did take me a little bit of time to get used to playing GoldenEye on a Switch Pro Controller. As opposed to the... There we go. Uh, it, did, it did take me a little bit of time to get used to the uh, controller. Uh, control, you know, playing playing GoldenEye on a. Uh, although, it's weird considering I played GoldenEye on emulators before on my P on my laptop, using the sec the the right analog stick as the C button. So, I don't know why I struggled as early on. Maybe because I hadn't played it like that in such a long time. And uh, I had thought about I I, I would have bought the N64 uh, controller for the Switch, but they're sold out. They haven't had them in stock for God knows who knows how long. Which which you know, and then you got fucking scalpers, you know, scalping that shit. Be careful there. Maybe, uh, it's funny because we have, um, Because we have Goldeneye now on the on the Switch. Now I'm wondering if we may at some point get Perfect Dark on the N64 as well. Because that's definitely one of those games. Now the biggest coup, <laughs> the biggest game if you one of the if you are able to get it on the nintendo online and uh, but it's highly doubtful because of licensing would be wwf no mercy but i can i can almost guarantee you you'll never see those you'll never see that game on the online service
Wow, that actually worked. Maybe you'll... I'm pretty sure you're, uh, let's see, thinking of games that could possibly show up on the Nintendo 64 online. I could see the cruising games being in. Uh, what else? Definitely some Tetris games. I hope they put the new Tetris in, because that game is fucking awesome. Game Boy wise, that's there's obviously Game Boy wise, there's a lot you can there's a lot of good games you can put there. down here. Oh. Are the N Nintendo online games such as N64 and others cloud gaming or can you download them? You download the app? Let me uh, show you real quick. I put in my my other switch in so I can show you. So so like for example, everything that is Nintendo 64, Game Boy Advance and the Sega Genesis, that's part of the expansion pass, meaning that in order to get them, you do have to have the base subscription plus pay extra to have them. So this is the way uh, it works. You download the app. You know, you download the, the, the game app. And then that's the only thing you download. And what the system does is it verifies that you have, that you are allowed to use the service so once it does that you can go uh, once it verifies that you are allowed to uh to play it or use it you can be have no internet and you'll be able to play these offline because they're already on there so you just need 
to verify your internet con- you know you just it, it needs to verify that you are allowed to use it and once you are then you can play the the games and um like me for example when i go to work i don't you know obviously i don't use uh the internet but the internet is not connected to my switch at work but i can still play goldeneye no problems so as you can see you know I'm playing it right now so you know what I'll, let me try something real quick try it with the GameCube controller maybe that works better for me so yeah that's all you it is you know So yeah, once you have once the the, the uh, online service uh, verifies that you are allowed to play the game or uh, allowed to use the service, then bam, you you don't need to be online to play them. So actually, with the GameCube controller, it works much niftier. Yeah, that that goes with all of the the uh, online services. So, for example, like I, I have the family pack. I have the family plan with the expansion. So, I can uh, I have up to eight slots that I can. Uh, Say, oh, that's a lot nicer than having to download each game individually. Yeah. I'm going to die. But yeah, that's that's all you really knew. But again, because a lot of people don't know this, but the expansion pass is a little more expensive. So I have the family plan. So that's up to eight folks that can, that can uh, have access to it. And it's actually that's actually a lot more cheaper for me than it is than everybody paying the twenty or thirty bucks a month for the standard uh, subscription or the fifty for the or the fifty for the expansion pass add-on. So. He actually, this actually plays a lot better with the GameCube controller. All right, but yeah, that was uh, that was the quick 101 on the online stuff. Let me uh, get back to Donkey Kong. Uh, uh, huh, Harry Potter. I'm not playing Harry Potter. I'm playing Hogwarts. Let's get that straight. <laughs> uh, no, the game's good. Uh, I, I'm enjoying Hogwarts. I am. I am. What my level is uh, 28. Smash. Yeah. Um. I'm still like. I guess I'm still a ways away from finishing it. I've done a lot of side questing. Fifty dollars a month? No, not a month. It's uh yearly. You pay uh, yearly. So you're paying uh, fifty uh, yearly. So it's 
Um, but like me, it would be 80. Yeah, the family plan is, for me, the best option. Made my character look like a noir detective. Mine... Well, I have two characters, a male and a female. Oh, shit. I have a male and a female. The male character is the one that you guys saw me start off last week. The female character is the one that I've been using as... Uh, as my main file one. So when I get back to Hogwarts playing it, you're going to be seeing my the male character, the one that I started with uh, last week. So I love that I can have multiple characters because that way I have one for streaming and one for my own time. The, the female character it's funny because the male character I'm using like the like for the outfit is the dark arts outfit and for the female character I'm using the legendary outfit so to kind of differentiate them and the thing is the playthrough I do with the female is different from the male so I'm playing two I'm playing the game two different ways at the same time but obviously one of them being on stream but I was talking to gamers some about this, but early on, early on, um, I am, I pretty much said that Tears of the Kingdom might have, uh, may not end up being my game of the year, uh, when it's all said and done. Obviously, I have to wait till Tears of the Kingdom comes out, but right now, I feel... Hogwarts Legacy is my game of the year. Granted, we're only in February. You know, but... The amount of time I've poured into the game... I have, I have not done that in such a long time. So... <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, overall, I love Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, let's see, I remember when they announced the. Hold on, let me. Oh, shit. Uh, when they announced the online service, people cried like babies. Uh, people cry all the time about Super Chip. Like, oh, I don't... Need. Now, admittedly, the online service could use some serious <laughs> tweaking. Because trying to play online uh, is a bitch. The amount of money we're paying for these services, it better be damn good. Fuck. Ah. 
funny, I have not tried GoldenEye online. I wouldn't mind doing it, though. Yeah, Hogwarts Legacy is a great game. Uh, I I love it. I love. I am loving the game. To think, I was able to get a PS5 because I was like, that was the only way I was gonna be able to play it when when it came out. You know, in April, the Xbox series, uh, the Xbox One and PlayStation Four are getting the version, are getting that version, and then in June or July, the Switch is getting Hogwarts Legacy. So it just made sense for me to, you know, and plus I was able to find the PS5 out in the wild, which is something I couldn't say before. So yeah, as of right now, my number one game of the year is Hogwarts. And like I said, Tears of the Kingdom is going to have a hell of a time trying to top that one. And I am a big Zelda fan. Oh, crap. I literally got done in by a piece of shit. Let's see. Yeah, I can't find a PS5. I, I can find a PS5, but I don't have the money for it, unfortunately. Yeah, they're... I was lucky I got paid. Payday was the day I got it. I was like, okay, I'm going to take the hit here. my PS5 by pure luck. Yeah, I could honestly say I did too. I will not, I, I am not ashamed to admit that. They had three consoles there. They had the, uh, they had two for, uh, that were bundles with, uh, for, uh, God of War Ragnarok. And then the solo, uh, just the console itself. second let me try something but yeah i've today i went um i went to best buy and i got uh because I, I i like to look at every week i'll look at uh like deal try to look at some deals so like i was browsing best buy earlier today and saw that they had uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla for 20 bucks uh, for the PS5 version. So I go to the store and they don't have it there, to my luck. They don't have it there, but I'm like looking around and then they had a PS4 version of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And then it has a little sticker at the bottom that says, oh, free upgrade to the PS5. 20 bucks still. So I ended up getting the PS4 version which then allows me to get the PS5 version for free.
Oh, I had the right idea. So, I'm pretty happy, but the way I'm... Because right now, trying to do the storage for the PS5 is kind of a bitch. So what I'm doing is... I'm gonna... Like... Once I'm done with, like, playing through Hogwarts Legacy, I will, like... Delete the uh, delete the game install, but obviously keep the files. So that way I can, uh, and it'll help with the backlog as well. Once I'm done with Hogwarts and trying to get everything that I can in it, because I really do want to 100% that game. I uh, will uninstall the game, keeping the save files, obviously. And then move on to the next game on the PS5. I wish the controller uh, didn't die as quick. Oh, yeah, that's the one thing that Sony has always been bad with. Yeah, luckily for me, I guess you could say that I'm... Uh, As you could say, because the PS5 is right in front of me, I I have it connected. Whenever I'll, I'll like, I'll play it without the without charging it. I mean, without charging it, I'm gonna play it without the cable when it's fully charged. So I'm letting the battery drain out naturally, and then once it's once I get to one bar, I plug it back in and uh, and keep playing that way. But yeah, the battery life in the PS and Sony products, Sony controllers, has always sucked. Ah, crap. Done in by Kaka. But, yeah, Hogwarts, great game. And to think it all, again, and I've said this, like, I'm starting to sound like a broken record. People's bullshit boycott on the game caused me to look into it, and in the end, I liked what I saw game-wise, and it's one of my favorite games now. So, thanks a lot, people. Hey, cuz! Oh, sh- <gasps> Damn it! I should have just let the key disappear and respawn. How's it going, cuz? That's bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, crap. Okay, that was my fault. I, di I didn't see the vines.
Let's see, just deciding that we should play Breath of the Wild or Zombies. Well, it's funny, I've been playing some Breath of the Wild again lately. How's everything going with you? Going pretty good. Just enjoying my days off. Enjoying my days off playing some video games here and there and uh Yeah, that's pretty much it. Wait, what is this? What's this thing that's oh it's the It's the Joy Con. I'll be right back. I'm going to take a quick uh, restroom break. So hang in there, folks. All right, I'm back. Oh. Need to take it out. Whiz. Oh, shit. Water. I'm holding on to a monkey. And I landed ass first into a fucking fish. I don't remember how far I've gotten in this. I think this is probably the farthest. Okay, this one's not too bad. Okay. There's so much shit on there that makes you think, oh my god, this is too much, but no. I... Extra life!
Hey, look who's here. Junior. Donkey Kong Jr. has appeared. And he's being a dick. Oh, damn, we did it! Now he's got Junior with him. That's funny. Ah, mushroom that shrinks me. I should, after this, get 51 lives. Oh, 52. My bad. Damn, this game is so much fun. Come on, you stupid... Oh, fuck. Ha! <laughs> Be right back going to the store. Fuck, I wanted to go get me some candy before I started streaming, but... Damn it, I forgot. Oh, bullshit. Okay, um... <laughs> I think I might go till the end of this... Oh, shit. I think I will go until the end of this... Uh, jungle level. And then we'll, uh, I'll call it for the night. to handle those uh, bugs.
shit. Okay, this one is gonna be a... It's those uh, spider bug things that are Okay, this one. This one's trickier. Have to bring it up through there. Holy shit. Okay, there we go. Did it. Woohoo! Damn, that one really tested me. I did not see that enemy. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck.
Oh, sh okay. Okay, I can do this. Crap, okay. I'm getting a little bit impatient, but I can do this. Luckily that one up being there helps me keep some sort of infinite. Okay, so... Oh, he didn't pull it that time, the fucking prick. Okay, I have to... Oh, God, I gotta hurry up. Being a prick. Look at that. Oh my god, he's such a dick. Got him. Holy shit. Donkey Kong Jr. is a fucking prick. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. Holy shit. More jungle madness. Poor monkeys. 
You got the fat Italian plumber, like, hanging on from the tail. Cannot be good for that. How am I gonna get past that? Okay, I'm gonna, I I should probably try doing a triple jump. Don't fall down now, little Mario. Okay, I know what I have to do. I have to get one of those monkeys to fall through that platform. Taha! That's what it is. I'm getting a little impatient now, now that I know what to do. So, I need to have one of those monkeys... them to fall through here. You know I have to go for that. You knew I had to go for that.
What did not? Oh dear God, no! Greed got to me again. All that time I could have spent going after the key. No. Okay, I know what to do. See, what happened was I... I caught myself because I thought that I did not close the... I did... I, I closed the lever not thinking that that, where, that little area where the key is at was gonna stay open. So I screwed myself over in that last one but no worries I'm done we got it Fucked up. <gasps> mm. No. Okay, I did fuck up there. Hey, cuz, welcome back. Thank you. 
damn it. This one is not hard, it's just... Thank God. That one was not hard. That was just freaking timing. Shit is throwing... Okay, so the, there's 101 stages across nine worlds. So I think I will. I think the halfway mark would have to be uh, in stage five. So I know I said at the end of stage four, but let's go halfway through stage five, I think. An actual halfway point.
now we got hammers. You know what? I think I'll I'll leave it right there, and then next week or uh, next time we'll pick up on it. Um, I did pretty. That's pretty good. I made it all the way to stage five. I mean, I'd keep going, but I'm just, I'm not at that point yet where I can go really really long on streams yet. As you can see, I'm already yawning, so that means I'm, you know starting to catch some Z's, but, so yeah, that's where I'll end it for tonight, um, tomorrow I'll get back to playing some Batman, uh, we'll see how far I can get, uh, tomorrow, and, um, on Tuesday I will play more Hogwarts Legacy, so that's what I got going, Batman tomorrow, and then next Tuesday, some more Hogwarts Legacy, so, but yeah, thanks for stopping on by, and I will catch you guys all later, uh, tomorrow, so, have a good night, everybody.